Sochi, known as the Russian Riviera, is the popular Black Sea Resort where the 2014 Olympics will be held. There will be two clusters for the Games, one on the coast and one in the mountains. Sochi will also be the host for the 2014 Formula One Grand Prix. It's about 1,000 miles south of Moscow and serviced by Siberian Airways. The domestic Russian airline flies between Moscow and Sochi Adler Airport and travel time is about 2 hours and 15 minutes. On both trips, the ground staff collecting boarding passes said as I entered the jetway, good luck. Fortunately, the flight was lucky and landed safely in the subtropical city which shares a similar latitude with the French Côte d'Azur. With palm trees and waters warm enough to swim in through October, Sochi is at first glance not somewhere one would associate with winter Olympic competitions. The Cherubotov Hotel is a four-star property and has 70 rooms, many with views of the city and the Black Sea. Furnishings are classically Russian, with some wall tapestries and generous spaces for sofas and chairs. Interesting features include motion sensors that turn lights on and off as one walks through the hallways. Depending on how fast or slow one strolls, it can leave you in the dark. A light buffet breakfast is served in the hotel's downstairs restaurant, Alexander. Along the boardwalk is the leading seafood restaurant, Blue Sea. It is tastefully decorated with a modern, comfortable ambiance. Excellent service and good food. Fresh sashimi, crab with asparagus, beef tornado, black sea flatfish, pasta with crab are just some of the dishes. Look at this, that's great. Oh, that's that. It's a flatfish. Yeah, we both got flatfish? Yeah. Mine's fettuccine with crab. Oh, look at this. Wow, you got the whole fish. The Sochi boardwalk extends for several kilometers along the beach and is peppered with many cafes, restaurants, and shops. Musicians perform along the beachfront, and small shops have interesting attractions from foot cleaning Thai fish to fruit drinks and shooting galleries. For the serious shopper, Sochi has several large shopping malls. The Olymp is currently Sochi's largest mall with over 70 shops, food court, restaurants, Metroplex theater, and a massive supermarket. Familiar products like Heinz ketchup are among less familiar items like fresh sturgeon caviar as well as mock caviar. One of the most popular fish egg products is the fresh salmon eggs, a far cry from fish bait. These eggs are beautiful in color, creamy in taste, and delicious served with blinis and creme fraiche. Also remarkably creamy is the Russian ice cream with a spectrum of flavor. At the Rodina Grand Spa Hotel, which has stunning grounds stretching to the water's edge, is the Black Sea Beach Club. Here one can, in season, lounge in the sun and raise a small flag in your hand when wishing a refill of your drink. There is much to do in Sochi, including the Dendry Botanical Garden, the largest subtropical park in Russia. Now it was time to make the one hour drive from Sochi to Krasnaya Polyana, home to the Rosa Kotur Alpine Ski Resort. It's probably the world's largest construction project, already topping $50 billion. Besides the six new stadiums, there are new roads, high-speed rail, bridges, tunnels, hotels, villages, a theme park, and a new huge power grid to run it all. This size of a construction project has its mishaps. Recently, eight workers fell from the seventh floor of an apartment building under construction in Sochi. One was killed in the accident, the others are in serious condition. And a three-story apartment started leaning after a tunnel being built for the Olympics collapsed nearby. And the World Wildlife Foundation is threatening to withdraw their support for the 2014 Olympics. They've claimed that the preparation for the Olympics has, quote, gone out of control, the quality of construction is poor, and great damage to the surrounding environment has already been caused. The western Caucasus Mountains surrounding Pollyanna are breathtaking. The snow is remarkable, especially considering that one is near a seaside resort. From some of the runs, one can, on a clear day, observe the Black Sea. In the summer, the temperatures in Sochi can rise above 100 degrees with abundant humidity. 
Skiing on North American type snow with brilliant sunshine is unique for Europe. The downhill courses are challenging and the mountain is served by modern Palma gondolas and chairlifts. They worked well for the most part except one day when a power outage kept skiers waiting for about 45 minutes. The weather above Sochi is unpredictable. Exactly one year before the Sochi games were to begin, there was no snow. I asked a local Russian skier when the ski season occurs. From December till uh, April, I think. Uh, maybe till beginning of May. And what about the stockpiling of 50,000 cubic meters of snow? Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> our president <laughs> can do our the magic said, things. The snow will be in next year. The <laughs> snow, snow had to be here. It's guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, guaranteed. Com <laughs> absolutely guaranteed. <laughs> it's it's un unbelievable. It's impossible, but it's guaranteed. <laughs> Grand Hotel Pollyanna is a five-star resort with very heavy security. Moon Meadow, officially a scientific research center, is also known as President Putin's winter holiday destination, directly behind the hotel. The hotel has several hundred rooms beginning at $500 a night. There's a spa, swimming pool, and an amazingly strong masseuse named Olga. The staff and training is a work in progress, but one can see that this property has the potential to be a world-class destination ski resort. And for President Putin, the resort offers a nice next-door hangout from his compound. Surrounded by a high white wall and security cameras and guards all around, one cannot feel more secure than at Pollyanna. President Putin loves Sochi and goes to his Dachau there as often as he can. It's where he gave Gerard Depardieu his Russian passport. But Putin wasn't happy about the building of the Gorky ski jump, which has already cost an estimated $265 million and is still not finished. So some heads rolled. In Russia, the ruling powers can move heaven and earth to get things done. And at Sochi, that seems to be happening right now.